Hello everybody, this is Danny here. Hope you're well. Today we want to look at a MACD divergence. Uh, an automatic MACD divergence. And we're going to start by looking at what is a divergence. And then we're going to talk about the common oscillators that we use to find divergences. Then we'll talk about the bullish and bearish divergence. What are the advantages of using MACD divergence as a trading strategy? What are the disadvantages? Finally, we look at the indicator uh, in a live chart. Okay, first of all, what is a divergence? So when we do technical analysis, a divergence is a separation. When we find a difference in what the instrument is telling us and the related us later, we call it divergence. That is, there's a difference. There's a disagreement in the travel direction okay so this is an instrument it could be euro dollar it could be pan dollar it could be anything and this is an oscillator it could be macd it could be rsi stochastic deliberately leave them out so that we can look at it objectively okay we can see here that the instrument is achieving higher highs the next high is higher than the previous one but the indicator is achieving lower high. The next high is lower than the previous high. So this is a difference. So the direction of travel is different. Chart is traveling in a higher direction. Indicator is going the lower direction, opposite. So we say we found a difference. We call it divergence. So what are the common oscillators we use to find these divergences? We use stochastic, MACD, RSI, moving averages. They can all perform very well in finding these divergences. I will advise you to try them out, each of these to, uh, stay, uh, oscillators, to find, to use it to find divergences. For today, we will use MACD as an example. Okay, so the MACD bullish and bearish divergence. If you look at the uh, this description here, this chart here, okay, so you see a bearish divergence which represents this here. You see the price, this is the price, and this is the indicator. The price is achieving higher high. It's going higher and higher. But the indicator is making lower high. Its high is getting lower and lower and lower. But its high is getting higher and higher and higher. This is what is called divergence. This is bearish divergence. What it is showing us is that the buyer are getting weaker. The buyers are getting weaker. Even the price is still going up, but the indicator is saying no, it's getting weaker. Get ready for a reversal. Okay. The same thing applies to the bullish uh, divergence. So you see price is making lower lows. Lower lows. So price is actually dropping lower and lower and lower. However, the indicators is making higher low. Indicator price not dropping lower and lower. It's dropping but not lower. It's making a higher low. Okay. So this is a divergence. This is a difference, disagreement between the price and the oscillator. And we call it divergence which is this time is bullish divergent and this is a bearish divergent so why do we want to use this kind of, of uh, information as a trading strategy what are the advantages of divergence one is a leading indicator just like price action so for example if you are here and you know you have got a divergence here. So it's already telling you that in the future, price might reverse. Price might reverse. Because we are getting, the buyers are getting weaker. We're getting uh, lower highs. So you be prepared for it. So it's a leading indicator, right? So it's a leading indicator. Secondly is that it's an event that is associated with high level of volatility. Because many traders know and they can identify the divergence, so they are piling up into taking position. Well, let's talk about disadvantages. The first thing is that it is very difficult 
to spot it, to know the divergence. When you look into a chart and look at the, at the indicator, you might not be able to see the divergence easily. Hence, this video is for you. I'm giving you the indicator that will identify those divergences automatically and draw those lines for you. So, second thing is that the divergence is a counter trend trend strategy. So, it's a counter trend trading strategy. As you you've seen earlier, when the buyers are getting weaker, we are getting ready to sell. So, we are getting ready to go against the current trend. So, this disadvantage to that is if the current trend continues if the trend continues it means that uh, you may have to be stopped out on your trade and finally let me show you some live examples okay so let's go to our charts so we're looking at euro dollar charts this is euro dollar one hour time frame so i've manually draw some some uh trend lines here to identify some some of the divergences so we, we see here we are achieving lower lows this low is lower than the previous one but look at the related indicator is achieving higher low higher low but lower low that's a divergent so it means that the seller here are getting weaker even though we see price dip lower than before but indicator does not dip lower so hence we see up move look at that as well here we are achieving higher high but the indicator is not achieving higher high instead indicator achieving lower high so indicating that the buyers are getting weak and there's a sell-off okay it's a leading indicator uh, now, the same thing that I've done manually here, because these are all done manually by, by looking at the chart. Let's see what the automatic indicator does. So, this is the automatic indicator. It has tried to do exactly the same thing automatically for you. Okay, so let's look at the indicator. So, it's called MACD histogram. So, it has the settings of MACD 1226 9 so if you want the trend lines on the indicator you set it to true if you want the trend line to be drawn on price you set it to true if you want to receive a lot you set it to true okay so that is it is done it for you now let's go and look at another time frame let's say we look at a monthly time frame okay I have identified here a monthly time frame. I've identified a trend line here. And I've seen that that trend line also has, is, that is a lower lower high. But look at the indicator is achieving higher high. Lower high for the price, higher high for the indicator. So it means there's a divergence. Okay. Here we are. This is achieving lower lows. The price achieving lower lows, but the indicator is achieving higher lows. That's a divergence. It's not easy to identify it, but when you use indicator, let's try the indicator on a monthly basis. You can see what we have just identified manually here. We have identified this one and that one. The indicator has done that as well. Let's identify that as a uh, divergent and identify that as a divergent. So this is uh, this indicator is going to help you. You can use it on any time frame uh, from monthly, weekly, uh, daily time frame and so on. So guys, uh, this is indicator which I can send to you, you know, free of charge. All you need to do as usual is to make a comment on this video and uh, you can add any email address of your choice. I will send it to you. Remember to uh, click notification if you want to receive. Click the bell if you want to receive the next uh, videos for me. And also subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. It's Dari.